You know, America has been waiting for y'all to come back to us. How is everything going? Everything's going pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's clear something up, because you know I've been getting a rundown on the street. Everybody seems to think that y'all are either girlfriend or boyfriend, or cousins, or friends. <laughs> just let's, let's just get the record straight. You better go get me a white Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we're not related. At all. at all. No, all we're right. not. We're just very close. He's my best friend. Yeah, cool. In now, who found world. her? In the whole wide world. Um, I found Leah. As a matter of fact, Barry Hankerson, my manager, who's her uncle, uh, told me to go up to Detroit and hear her sing. Once I got up to Detroit, I didn't have to hear her sing because she was glowing. Mm -hmm. I knew she had it. As soon as she started singing, that verified it. And from there, we became here, and everything is all good. Mm -hmm. Is Aliyah your real name? Aliyah is my real name. Very unique. It's nice, though. I think it's a Muslim Arabic name. Oh, all right. You, does it, I mean, do you know the meaning, or does it have a meaning? It means the highest, most exalted one, the best. All right. Here Oops. we go. Yeah. Everybody knows. Can you say it one more time so we make sure we get this? The highest, most exalted one. Right? The best. Yeah. The best. Right. Get it, y'all. <laughs> now, what does everybody call you? I know your name is Robert, but do they say, Yo, Art, Yo, Kelly, Yo, yo Robert, Yo. Uh, Kelly. Uh, some call me Ark. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> making a mistake. Right, Ark. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, most uh, people who know me call me Rob. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I know you're a straight-A student. How do you mix with, uh, you know, studies and slash artists? Well, it was very hard to intertwine school with the career, but I do feel that education is number one. Cool. So I work hard at that, and I go to performing arts school, so oh, right. they're very helpful. They've been very cooperative with me. DSA, everybody knows <laughs> right? And uh, my parents work with me. Good. So they help me keep my grades up. What do your parents think about your career? They're very happy for me. Mm -hmm. That you know, I finally got where I wanted to get. I've been working very hard, and they've been a great support Ever since I was a little thing. I used to run around and sing, and they've helped me. They've developed me. Now, how do people around you act? I mean, I, you know how people say you've changed, and it's usually not you who've changed, but the people around you. Do you feel that kind of vibe going on? Well, my friends at school, they they've been supportive. They haven't. They don't think I've changed any. They get the same. I'm the same. We're all the same. <laughs> now, how is he to work with? Bob is great to work with because really, it's not like we work because we're like really close. So it's like just fun, really. We just hang out, sing. I don't ever remember working. Yeah, it's just like fun. <laughs> It seems like you had a lot of fun recording your album, but is there any song on the album that is your baby that you like more than others? At your best. At your best. Mm. At your best, you are love. And that's what we're going to peek at today, right? That's right. Uh -huh. Why that song? Because I love the Isley Brothers, mm. and uh, I really admire them. They're very unique. Their sound is very unique. You can tell the Isley Brothers song right off. And when he brought it to me, I just fell in love with it from the first time, so that's why I love it. Where did the title of the album come from? She's running around the studio one day with her friends. <laughs> talking about the smack. Talking about age ain't nothing but a number, girl. I was like, what, 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 so what you trying to say? So immediately I heard the song, you know, and I said, I called her back 15 minutes later, I told her, check this out. So we cut the track right then and there. Right. And for the record, you are how old? That's a secret. Uh -oh. Women doesn't disclose her face. <laughs> Mentor for you, I guess. Yeah, you know. he is. He's yeah. my best friend, really. We've been knowing each other for around three years. And I met him before he came out with Born into the 90s through right. my manager, which is also his manager. Right. That's how we met. And I sang for him when I first met him. And um, a couple months later, we went to the studio and started working. What was so special about her that you, you actually hooked up with her to actually you know, get that whole thing happen? Well, uh, I don't want to come off like she's big headed, but it, it, all you have to do is take a look at her, you know, and she's glowing. And that's what you have to have for someone like me to really want to break down and work with you or produce you or, or to be able to produce. Because if you're not glowing in some kind of way, I can't even touch you, you know. Uh, and that's what Leah is doing. That's what she was doing when I first met her. She was glowing. She had that thing, that vibe. I kind of just laid back and let him you know, kind of take control because he had the experience. Right. And of course the talent's there, but I learned a lot from him. So hopefully around the second album, I'll be able to pull out a little input. In. I mean, my parents always told me, and I sung a lot with my mom, but right. you know, when 
I heard other people's views, and I heard, and everyone else was telling me that I could sing. Is when I really realized I had a good, a great voice. Really, my parents always told me. But you know, parents they love their kids too. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you anything. But well, the great support system when your dad travels with you and your brother. Mm -hmm. My family's with me most of the time. My yeah. manager is my uncle, right. so you know he's been in the business for a while. So having him, you know, helped a lot in getting a lot of things done because he had you know, a lot of connections. Well, you sense. have to grow up quickly in this yeah. business because you have to. You know, no when, no when not to go somewhere, no when to go back to the hotel or whatever. But you know, my mom travels with me a lot, and my dad and my brother. So having them around helped me a lot. And going on my age, I wanted them to like really accept me as an artist and just enjoy the music. And um, you know, everybody's asking me how old are you, and they know I'm young. I'm in my teens, but I made it a fact that I wasn't going to tell and keep it a secret. And now, you know, I just had a birthday. I just turned 16, so I'm telling people we've got the scoop. <laughs> I'm 16, so I was really geeked about my sweet 16, so I'm telling people now, but they, they've accepted me, and my album's been very successful, so that's why I don't mind saying it now. That song can relate to a lot of people. Right. Like, if you fall in love with someone older, or if an older person falls in love with someone younger, it's really everyone can relate to it, not just one group of people. And, of course, because we knew when I came out that age would be, you know... The big thing. Yeah. ...an issue. <laughs> This past year, you wrapped filming for Queen of the Damned, the Anne mm -hmm. Rice novel, yeah. and uh, you finished your third album, mm -hmm. and you also signed on to star in the next two Matrix yes. sequels. How many hours do you have in a day? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a lot of work. It really is. You know, now that I have, you know, dual careers, it's double the workload, but I'm really enjoying it. You know, this is what I've wanted since I was a little girl, and, I'm, you know, living their dream on being original and being unique, and, um... I stay up on what's going on in music, you know, what's hot and, and all of that, but I I don't like to, I, I won't let things influence me to stray from what I want to do, you know. And the team that I work with is very creative and very innovative, and we're always challenging ourselves to to do something new, you mm -hmm. know. I'm like, with this album, we have to dig deep and, and maybe sing about things, talk about things we haven't talked about before, or maybe, you know, it, we'll use an instrument on this track. Um, I self-titled this album because I feel it really reflects me. Um, it's like I said before, it's it's a mature album. Um, it's even with my vocals, you feel the growth. You know what I mean. My signature style still remains, but with some songs, I I, I use a little bit more power, a little bit more depth because I felt that that's what that song called for. And I just want people to really feel who I am as a young adult now. And I really feel that does come across. These are some old clips that I had to dig down in the vault to find and bring it to the people just to show everybody what was what back then. Sometimes it's good to bring things back, you know, where people can actually look at this whole situation and see it exactly for what it really was. It seemed like everybody pretty much knew from the consensus about Aaliyah's age and, you know, the fact that she was dealing with R. Kelly, that the marriage, you know, a certificate was forged, but nobody really did anything about it. So, I mean, this kind of is what it is. You know, I want to get y'all thoughts in the comment section and make sure that you share this video. I'm out. Peace. faith to step out there and trust the fact that these people us brothers myself oh god darren kansu have lived this journey have been through these experiences have been through these trials have learned and have gained success through the formula that we want and wish to provide for you